Hytham, Ranvi asked me to see you. About finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested, but their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England... They cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway. Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings... Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from it. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not, but with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. This 
will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their... Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the Alliance in London they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift. I cannot show you here. I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. I've no way. It's only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. The riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! I you... Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. 
You call this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same... I will. Thank you, Hytham, for all of this.
best go hooded here. My battle cannings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack, the scourge of swan roads, the iron throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter, someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips.
guards here are vigilant. Something is wrong. Foul. Cursed.
I should not be seen in this area.
Better be hooded. Specto hominum quale dilexus. Send on here, man.
That must be Bjorn the Berserker. who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. They say, we do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you, come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I am not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. I have no clan. No need of you prefer to live alone here, with your bear. Who is this man? A Mercian lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. And let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it all. Go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njord trusts you... You are tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me. What does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? <laughs> Best you show me then. Skulls say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cup. Raised you as one would raise a child.
your favorite flowers. Their nut food, Njo, reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemminger's Hall. <laughs> I can see why Björn keeps you around. fish you want. I can help with that. Fishing areas. Now to catch something from y'all. Do you want some fish, Njal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. Jorn may be in trouble as well. These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces. 
Eivor of the Ravens. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold, even taunted me. Your blood feud is just. If it is something, you must do alone. No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of... You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodorus World. Nightshade. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England.